Hi everybody, Fran Hankin with Jump Realty. Yes, I'm wearing short sleeves in Windsor. It's like 80 today and it's October and Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> Welcome to living down south. Anyways, first of all, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're celebrating and getting pumpkin pie together or whatever you do. I'm um, gonna be a real quick one today because I'm off to do a showing. Um, what is going on with the market? So it's a little slower, it's a little sluggish. Um, part of that is traditional this time of year. Um, but part of what else is going on, I think, in my opinion, is we are seeing just the beginning of a little bit of an adjustment. So a couple things. Number one, the market's not going to crash. Prices aren't going to crash. We need to like stop thinking that way and realize that there's a housing shortage. And if you're waiting for prices or interest rates to go down and off a cliff, that's just not reality, which is why, as I said last week, know your numbers, be financially literate and understand what's going on because you have to look past the headlines right now. Remember the news media, and I'm not one of those conspiracy theorists, but in general, they're, you know, what leads bleeds, who, what, where, when, why. They are not looking, delving deep into an issue. So when you read an article, you know, Google some stuff. Check out what the terms mean. Try and understand it on a larger level because the news is just trying to get you to read. That's their job. So everybody's saying, where are the buyers? Where are the buyers? Where are the buyers? And all the buyers I'm hearing from are saying, interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. Well, here's the thing. These are normal interest rates. This is what normal looks like. They may go down, they may hold their, on the next announcement, and they may go down a little over time, but they're not going down to zero one percent. So with buyers, if you're buying, you got to look at the forest and the trees, not just what's right in front of you. Higher interest rates means lower sales price, which means a lower mortgage. It also means there's room for conditions. There's room for an adjustment, which is what's happening on the other side with sellers. We're seeing listings being canceled and relisted, canceled and relisted. They're adjusting their prices. Sellers are learning that these prices, what they want for their house, is not necessarily what the market is saying their house is worth anymore. You have to be aware of not just your neighborhood, but the city, the province, the strike still going on. Windsor's got a strong market. We've got lots of good investments coming here. These prices are not gonna drop hugely. Um, houses below 500,000, that 350 to 5,000 mark are moving. That's traditionally where new first time homeowners get in the market. And they are, they're out looking, they are there. Um, but you have to price according to what the market is telling you, regardless of what you think you want, regardless of what you put into your house, those things are important, but it's all about at the end of the day, what hits the table and what people are willing to pay. And I think that's what's going on right now. Everybody's kind of sitting and waiting and they're gonna learn very shortly in the next 30 to 90 days that you know they need to adjust. People's mortgages are ballooning. People, there are motivated sellers out there. And I don't think we're ever gonna be in a real big buyer's market because Windsor market is strong with the investment and the housing shortage, but I believe there will be a peer, an adjustment period and come spring it'll be leaning into a buyer's market so that's my prediction I think um, the rates gonna hold for right now I don't think they're gonna up it I don't think they're gonna lower it if they do it'll just be a titch so we will see if my opinion stands we shall see so have a great Thanksgiving and uh, see you guys next week bye